Hi English enthusiast. Welcome to my class. I am Teacher Julian and I am your teacher in English 6. Join me as we discover and explore the English language while having fun. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss types of adverbs. An adverb is a part of speech that provides description to a verb, an adjective, and another adverb. It answers questions how, when, where, how often, and how much. It helps us add detail to our sentences. Before we begin this week's lesson, let us read and study the sentences below. Number 1. COVID-19 is an extremely dangerous respiratory disease. Number 2. She always reads a book before going to bed. Number 3. He patiently spent the whole night trying to prevent the flow of water from the dike. Number 4. My family decided to have lunch at the beach. Number 5. They were at the museum yesterday. Notice the highlighted word in each sentence. Do you remember what these highlighted words are? You're right. They are called adverbs. Did you notice that the highlighted adverbs answer different questions? These differences will be the focus of our lesson today. After going through this lesson, you are expected to compose clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures with types of adverbs. Analyze the table below. Notice that the adverbs you have read from the sentences were categorized as to how they answer the questions how, when, where, how often, and how much. Word under how is patiently. Word under when is yesterday. Word under where is at the beach. Word under often is always. And word under how much is extremely. There are five types of adverbs you should familiarize yourself with. Adverbs of degree, frequency, manner, place, and time. In composing sentences using the types of adverbs, we need to remember the following. Adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree tell us more about the intensity of the verb in the sentence. They describe how much or to what degree. They can be categorized as low degree, medium degree, and high degree. Adverbs of degree can also modify adjectives and other adverbs and are placed before the word they modify. Popular adverbs of degree include almost, enough, hardly, just, nearly, quite, simply, so, too. Let's look at some sample sentences. Number one, this short essay is hardly sufficient. Number two, it's simply not enough. Number three, I'm so excited to move from Bacoor to Imus. Adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency let us know how often the verb occurs. Therefore, they mostly modify verbs. These adverbs tend to appear right before the main verb in the sentence. Popular adverbs in this category include again, always, never, normally, rarely, seldom, sometimes, usually. Here they are in action. Number one, I always read a book before bed. Number two, does he normally walk his dog at this time? Number three, she usually shops at the Emus market in town. Adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner tell us how or in what manner something was carried out. They mostly modify verbs and can often be found at the end of a clause. This category comprises the most common adverbs, the ones that end in ly. Here are some examples of adverbs of manner. Beautifully, generously, happily, neatly, patiently, softly, quickly, well. And here are some example sentences. He trimmed the white roses neatly. I combed my dog's fur carefully because it had lots of tangles. There's no reason why you can't discuss the topic with me calmly. 
adverbs of place. Adverbs of place tell us more about where the verb took place. These tend to pop up after the main verb or direct object of the sentence. Here are some common adverbs of place. Above, below, everywhere, here, in, inside, into, nowhere, out, outside, there. Let's take a look at them in action. Number one, in the beach, there are coconut leaf roof cottages everywhere. Number two, clearly there aren't any leprechauns here. Number three, I was so charmed, I drove into a ditch. Adverbs of time. Adverbs of time detail when the verb took place. We usually see this kind of adverbs placed at the beginning or end of sentence. Adverbs of time include annually, daily, monthly, recently, tomorrow, weekly, yearly, yesterday. Here they are at work. Number one, lately, you've been rude to everyone around. Number two, they recently relocated to Anabutu'e, Imu City. Number three, the morning newspaper arrives daily. Now that you know the things to remember in composing clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures with types of adverbs, answer the engagement activities. Engagement activity number one. Write clear and coherent sentences by supplying the missing adverb of degree. Completely, quite, extremely, rather, very. Number one. I blank had a time for relaxation since the pandemic began. Number two, we are blank unsure about what tomorrow may bring. Number three, we need to avoid giving blank unfavorable comment to our frontliners. Number four, it is blank dangerous to go out because of the pandemic. And number five, people need to be blank obedient to stop the spread of virus. Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Great! Let's move on to the next activity. Engagement activity number two. Compose clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structure. Adverbs of frequency in answering this. Number one. How often do you sing the Philippine National Anthem? Number two. How often do you raise your hand during class recitation? Number three, how often do you wear a face mask? Number four, how often do you clean your house? And number five, how often do you help others? Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Great! Let's move on to the next activity. Engagement activity number three. Complete the sentences below using adverbs of place and time. Tomorrow, every day, outdoors, yesterday, now, 7 a.m. Number one, I do my homework blank. Number two, donations for the community pantry will be distributed blank. Number three, the wedding ceremony will start blank number four field games were played blank and number five the school bus left at blank let's check your answers did you get a perfect score great let's move on to the next activity engagement activity number four Complete the following sentences with appropriate adverbs of manner. Religiously, quickly, badly, forcefully, emotionally. Number one, Samantha always finishes her assignment blank, whereas Jerome never finishes his assignment. Number two, Mark suddenly gets angry to Frank. He blank throws the ball towards him. Number three, 
the man was treated blank and accused of crime he never committed. Number four, the company should consider its employees before creating policies that would affect them blank. And number five, we must hold on to our faith blank and believe that God is the greatest above all. Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Great! You were able to complete the sentences using the types of adverbs. Now, try to recall the important concepts you learned today. Complete the sentences. An adverb is a part of speech that provides description to a blank, and blank, and another blank. There are five types of adverbs. Adverbs of blank, 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 and blank. Adverbs of degrees answer the question blank. Adverbs of frequency answer the question blank. Adverbs of manner answer the question blank. Adverbs of place answer the question blank. Adverbs of time answer the question blank. Before we end, always remember, an adverb is a part of speech that provides description to a verb, an adjective, and another adverb. There are five types of adverbs, adverbs of degree, frequency, manner, place, and time. Adverbs of degrees answer the question how much. Adverbs of frequency answer the question how often. Adverbs of manner answer the question how. Adverbs of place answer the question where. Adverbs of time answer the question when. I am glad to have you in my class. Again, this is Teacher Julian saying, everything in life is a choice. Choose to learn today and you will definitely earn tomorrow. God bless and happy learning. See you next time.